Hey everybody, I got a few requests for a quick technique analysis um, talking about the leg kick that Thiago Santos, our friend over here, did against John Jones in the recent, uh, in, in this weekend's UFC event. Now, I talked about this at length during the post fight analysis video on YouTube. You can watch that one, but I wanted to point this out quickly. So, Here's the first thing. So Thiago starts from a basic fighting stance. And you're going to see that he steps forward uh, towards John Jones. Typical setup for the leg kick. So that's the first thing. This is very classical. Nothing wrong with that. But you'll see in an instant that there are some issues with the way that he uses that technique. So the first one is that he has a little bit of hip rotation, but not much. So mainly what he does is he keeps his hip pointed backwards, pulled backwards. So that's the first thing. So it's it's a half hip leg kick. Uh, it's not a full hip uh, leg kick as we normally are want to do. And then I want you to watch here the angle in his kicking leg. So that's over or just about 90 degrees. So that makes it a soccer kick or a soccer style leg kick. Um, I'm not fond of those, but I can understand that some people like them and Obviously, Thiago kicks extremely hard, so he can get away with kicking like that. But let's say that, as far as leg kicks go, I would be confident enough to say that there, there are better alternatives than using this version. And he pays a huge price for that. And that's the main reason for this video, is what are, are the factors that caused him to, to totally blow out his knee. So that's the first thing. So the hips are pulled backwards and kept backwards in a half hip motion, and he keeps his kicking leg at about a nine degrees angle. That means that there's going to be a tremendous extension from that knee towards John Jones's leg as he kicks. So that is the first part of what he does. Then we're gonna move on to the next part, which is gonna make it a little bit clearer. So what John did is that he uh, saw it coming, and that's one of the downsides of doing naked leg kicks, meaning that Thiago just drew it. He didn't set it up extremely well, in my opinion. Could have timed it better, maybe. But John Jones is a very, a very experienced fighter, so he sees it coming and he pulls his leg back. And that means that Thiago's kick misses and goes wide. Now, I want you to pay attention to a few points. So first, watch his hips. So they are still being pulled, kept back. There's no hip rotation. Now, what that means at this stage is that his entire body weight is supported on that left leg. Now, I'm going to draw it here uh, a little bit, but you can, I can't, sorry, draw it very well, but you can see that in this case, he has his entire left leg that is supporting his weight. But here's the point. That left leg is planted into the floor. So he put it down after he placed his foot uh, forward for the launching the leg kick. And then this is the structure that we have right now. So we've got his hips are over here and his hips are actively pulling backwards. The right, right hip is pulling backwards to control that kick because he's doing soccer style half hip kick. Now his upper body is here in this case, trying to stabilize, just trying not to fall forward. So he's got his upper body, he's leaning slightly backwards, like you can see here, to make sure that as he throws a kick that he doesn't overcommit and launch forward with his head, which would mean that John could easily counter him with strikes. So he's keeping his distance and that is fine. The issue is that because he kicks so hard, and, and and it's great if it lands, but in this case it's a bit of a problem. Um, because he kicks so hard and he has all his, all his weight on that left leg, and that foot is planted so he can't move, his whole body is trying to rotate into that kick. That's the, that's the issue. So his leg wants to swing wide because he missed, and that is going to drag his whole body along for the right in that circular motion. The point is that everything here on the left leg below the knee is stationary. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. But the problem is that all the all that his body wants to do, because the right side of his hip, the hinge, if you want, is swinging, and then we have the if you continue with the with the anal analogy of a door hinge and a wall, then his left leg would be the wall side and part of the hinge that is attached to the wall. And then we would have his leg here that kicks 
is swinging wide and that would be the part of the door where you have the doorknob that you can you can move around now here's the point a wall needs to be extremely stable so that it can uh, absorb all the torque if you slam a door shut and the point is that his knee isn't stable in this position so everything's going wide like it does here and then his body wants to turn here and then this upper leg here uh, on the or his support leg that wants to turn as well but the foot is planted and does not pivot that means that the only thing that can absorb all that torque is his knee and as we can see that didn't work out all that great that's the biggest issue is that he kind of totally blew out his knee and I can and this is the next image that you can see where uh, his kick goes wide and I'll blow it up a little bit uh, but before I do that let me point out again watch the hips he's pulling his hips back there is not rotating and now he is still leaning a little bit away uh, with his upper body again that's a counterbalance in one part but also keeping his head clear of the line of attack from John but at the same time all his weight is still on that left leg and that is not pivoting because he's not allowing it he planted into the floor I'm going to zoom in so you see a little bit better but take a look here and I'll see if I can zoom in some more so you get a really close picture here you can see this part that you see here hold on I'll make it a little bit clearer this little knob here that's his shin bone that comes popping out so this piece here that's his shin bone that is detaching from the knee joint and that's just all his ligaments everything is getting torn apart um, upon that moment as uh, all the torque lands on that on that knee joint and just can't handle it so this is what you see so this is what's happening so this there's pressure here he's pushing down on his support foot and it's keeping the structure the structure of his shin bone basically attached to the floor by his body weight on top of it but then you've got the upper leg here that is connected to it and then you've got his kicking leg over here his kicking leg is going that way his hips are pulled back and that means that his upper body and his kicking leg want to rotate like this they want to follow that rotation of the swing of the kicking leg pressure going straight down and then the only thing that's stopping this rotation here from uh, uh, from from pivoting with that foot is that the foot stays here and then the knee joint is taking all that torque and this is what happens the shin bone detaches so the result of that is now extensive surgery uh, for Tiago and he's probably going to be out for at least the rest of the year and there's a, there's a good chance that he's going to end up with uh, with a weakened knee, even if he does the rehab correctly, that might be very difficult for him to recover from, might stay a weak spot in the long run. But here's the thing, what do you think will happen next time Thiago fights? What do you think any smart fighter uh, is going to do when he has to face Thiago, who's well known for his kicking? They're going to target that leg and in particular, they will target that knee. Especially a guy like John Jones who likes to throw lead leg side kicks towards the knee or stomp kicks. Um, they're going to target that knee. So um, just because he, he chose to use this specific variation of the leg kick, so the, the soccer style half hip leg kick, which is very common. I've seen, I see a lot of fighters use it. It's fine. It works. However, my opinion in my experience you cannot use it consistently for full power penetrating impact so of the five type of types of impact penetrating impact is extremely useful and it works very very well however not every single technique can be used to achieve that goal so it would have been a whole lot better if Thiago had used it for bouncing impact or fragmenting but for penetrating impact you can see here the downside is that um, he just needs to miss once and it messes up his knee for an extremely long time. So um, that was, I hope, the response to several people who contacted me and asked me for a little bit more of a breakdown of why this happened. I wish Thiago all the best. I hope he recovers well. And in the meantime, uh, if you guys want to watch more videos and so on, um, just follow me on Facebook. Uh, you can go to the link that you see here, facebook.com forward slash MMA formula. Um, you can watch some more stuff there, breakdowns, techniques, and so on. And if you have any questions in the meantime, I'm happy to answer. So that's it. Take care, have fun training, and make sure that you avoid these kinds of injuries. Bye-bye.